All right, so the next thing I want to do is <clears throat> talk about tagging these masses that we just created in here. And so I'm going to do that in my plan A1. Um, so I'll go to my plan A1 where we're looking at this guy. Um, we can also go to um, a schematic plan that doesn't have all of the stuff on and, and do it there as well. So let's go ahead and... Um, if we go to plan A1 schematic, you'll see something um, where most of the other things have been turned off. So I'll show you how to sort of create this kind of plan. So if I go back to my plan A1, I can duplicate that view. And um, then what I want to do is turn off the things that I don't want to see. So I'm just going to pick them and type VH for view hide. And that's going to turn these off in the visibility graphics dialog box. So, and I'm going to window around the elevation markers and just sort of clean it up a little bit. And then um, maybe I'll set the um, section cut of the walls um, to something a little different. And also, you should really come in and rename as soon as you make a copy of it over here. Rename it. I'll rename it to, to massing. To mass. Um, so let's change the color of the wall. So maybe they're gray or something like that. So I'll hit VV for visibility graphics and scroll down to my walls. And instead of the sort of coral color, I'll click on that guy and change it to, it's on solid fill already. And I'll change it to maybe a light gray. Click OK and OK and OK. And so <clears throat> again, you could leave it at white or whatever you want, but now let's go in and talk about tagging these guys. So in Revit, um, the tags are under annotations, which means they're 2D, so they'll only exist in this plan here. Um, and there's a tag by category. So if you left click on tag by category and you hover, it will highlight those masses. So I'll just left click on this guy while it's highlighted, the dining one. And it'll say there's no tag loaded for masses. And do you want to load one? Well, yes, that would be nice because we want to tag it. So you click yes, and it opens up your dialog box, and it should go directly to your English Imperial. If not, you should have an Imperial library over here in your places. And then if you go to annotations, which is what we're doing, and you scroll down, you should see a mass floor tag and a mass tag. So. Um, we do have mass floors in there, so we could tag those, but let's go ahead and just tag the mass. So click that, and you're going to see it's going to give the type name and the gross floor area. So just click open, and it will want to place it, so I'll zoom in a little bit. You can see it kind of flipping back and forth. It has a leader on it, so it wants to be outside of the area. Up in your options, you can remove the leader, and if you do that, it'll center it. So I'll just left click here. And then if I come over here and left click, and if I come over here and left click, it will then tag those. And what it's doing is it's actually, and once you have them, you can kind of move them around. You know, once you pick them, you get a little move option. Um, it will tag them based on their size. So for example, if I pick this and move it, right, you'll see that um, area update. Um, you can also um, change the font of these tags and things like that by adjusting the tag itself. So if you pick one of the tags and you edit the family, it actually opens that up as a separate family and you can sort of pick this guy. And if you go to the edit type, it will allow you to change it. So I'll just change it to Century Gothic. click OK, and you'll see those load as Century Gothic. And then I can sort of load into project and overwrite the existing version, and it'll update. Again, it's still open. This little minus right here is a family. Um, and if I click on it again, it'll take me back to that. Um, so you can kind of go back and forth. You can also edit these guys um, if I go to edit type. Um, the background is transparent. Um, I'll show you if I go to opaque and click OK and then um, load into project and overwrite the existing version, you'll get sort of an opaque. You could go move them closer together so they would be more accurately, you know, they would just be one. So if I just move this guy up a little bit, right? And you can also see 
um, it sizes it to the text and there's really not much you can do about that. So, or at the existing version, you can see that those guys are sort of coming together. So that's tagging. Um, the tags themselves, if you pick one, what you can do is um, over here, you see mass tag standard, right? And it's just doing a standard mass tag, which is the dining and the name of the type, which just to sort of reiterate what that is, the type is the second thing below. So the name of the family and the type in our case is the same. So it's reading from here, right? And putting that out there. So if I were to change this to bar 02, right? You'll see that update. So that's where it's reading from in this case. The other thing obviously it's reading from is the area. Um, that's being generated by the mass floor that we put in there. So if I pick one of the masses, like the dining, you'll see that the gross floor area is reading out right here. Okay. Um, so that's it for the annotations. Um, so there are ways to add volume and things like that, but I think we'll stick with this. And if you have any questions about updating the tags further, um, let me know.